Is that right man, right time. Listen, the Cubs, I don't think – I don't know if David Ross knows who they are. I like the lineup, but it goes in slumps. The bullpen you like, but it goes in – it's kind of like nobody can figure out who they are, and they were on a losing streak, and it was a perfect day, Memorial Day, day game. Beautiful. Wrigley and Field. everywhere. Against the best lineup in baseball. Mm-hmm. And who wants to be the showman all the time? Marcus Stroman. That's right. In big spots, this guy has stepped up. What For whatever reason, motivation, he is able to put this team on his back yesterday, and he threw a gem. I actually sat down and watched this cover to cover. He had everything. Let's get into it a little bit because he had it all working. He is the greatest Stroman. And in big <laughs> moments, he's been on top of his game. We'll go all the way back to 2015 with the Toronto Blue Jays. Big moments in the postseason against the Texas Rangers, constantly wanting the ball. The fans seem to really rally around him, okay? His peers seem to rally around him. The opposition wants his heart, but they can't get it all the time. 2016 postseason, again, we all saw what he did in 2017 in the WBC final. He was the MVP for Team USA. Jim Leland and the boys, they were able to capture that. That's all I wanted this year, to have a moment like Marcus Stroman. And then May 25th, he upset you as well if you're the opposing team. With the Metsies, takes him on <laughs> in his house, and he is talking smack. I'm that, what, what. You got it, Marcus Stroman. And then yesterday, what he did, all pitches to all quadrants <laughs> with a little dance step rope flow. We're going to get into it a little bit here. He fields <laughs> his position, and that's the beauty of him. He is in yes, 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 yes. But I'm telling you, you talk about being an athlete, pot committing to being the best version of yourself professionally. He has done that. He truly has. He is complete command of his body and where he wants to execute pitches to. He's got the two-seamer to all parts. Oh, and hey, a little oh, start. Oh, Give it to me again. Hey, oh, hey. And again. Little slider down and away. He took apart the best lineup in baseball yesterday from start to finish. Coming off eight innings against the Metsies, he wanted that complete game. He did not disappoint, and I think he is with kind of, we'll have John Heyman come out a little bit later. You start talking about some of the names that could potentially yeah. get moved at the deadline that can make a monster impact. You can't deny what this guy is doing this year. Look at the NL ranks. He's first or second in all the categories, and he seems to like, you're on a losing streak, put him on the mound. You're on a winning streak, you want to keep it rolling, keep him going. You want to light up the fans, you want to upset the opposition, put him on the mound. He just has, he has that kind of polarizing personality. When I watch him. Cubs fans, I want to play for the Cubs. It's just, right? 2003, oh. playing for the Braves, Turner Field, Division Series, we come out to take BP. Eh. Cubs come out to take BP, the place erupts. Mm. In our home ballpark, okay. I'm like, I got to play for the Cubbies at some point. Good. Yeah, I got lucky. I was able to. But I'm going to say this. Like, watching him. You talk about being in, in complete command of your body, having awareness over the he, – he has it all. And, and a pitch to every quadrant. So he can go wherever he wants to your weakness. If Robert can't hit a slider down, he's got it. Mm -hmm. You can't hit a two-seamer up and in, he's got it. So him and Tucker Barnhart were dialed in yesterday.